Pentagon chief vows to cooperate with South Korea following U.S. Intel leak reports. Welcome back. The details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi instructed an accurate focus on the Grand Egyptian Museum gem as an integrated system that reflects the capabilities and organization and management. President Sisi's directives came during a meeting with the Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and a number of ministers and concerned officials held to follow up on the work pace at the Grand Egyptian Museum. During the meeting, the President ordered the continued raising of the efficiency of the museum's geographic location achieving an integration and connection with the pyramids area, the most important archaeological and tourism area in the world. Foreign Minister Sema Shokri praised ties between Cairo and Athens on all levels, and Shokri was speaking at a joint press conference in Athens with Greece's Foreign Minister. He said both sides are keen to implement joint projects. Shokri also said Cairo appreciates Greece's role in boosting Egypt within EU mechanisms. He said his consultations with the Greek foreign minister touched on the Palestinian issue and regional developments. For his part, the Greek foreign minister expressed appreciation for ties with Cairo. Shokri's visit to the Greek capital aims to boost bilateral ties and hold consultations on regional and international developments. Shokri will also meet uh, the CEO of the Greek Kopolosos Electricity Group giant to review progress on the implementation of the electricity interconnection project between Egypt and Greece. Israeli occupation forces intensified military measures in Old Jerusalem, preventing Palestinian youth from entering Al-Aqsa Mosque to perform dawn prayers. Meanwhile, scores of settlers stormed into Al-Aqsa Mosque halls in the sixth day of Jewish Passover feast. Settlers' break-ins were carried out in groups from the mosques, Magharba Gate, amid tight security by occupation police. Islamic Waqf Directorate in occupied, occupied Jerusalem said the settlers carried out provocative tours inside the mosque's halls performing their rituals. The United Nations welcomed the ongoing talks in Sana'a between Saudi, Omani delegations and Houthis aimed at reaching a political solution for the Yemeni crisis. 